Thank you, members of Pfizer, for joining us here today. We are excited to share our vision for a new Children's Library addition to the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital and the opportunity to potentially partner with you in future ventures. So I wanted to start this discussion off by giving a brief introduction of who we are as a children's hospital and a little bit more background. Um, Barbara Bush Children's Hospital is a nonprofit children's hospital here in Maine. We provide services in the greater New England area. Um, as indicated in our name, uh, we are uh, named in honor of First Lady Barbara Bush for her numerous contributions aiding Maine children. Um, we are the only full service children's hospital here in the state of Maine. We provide advanced specialty services and state of the art technology meeting the unique needs of our patients and families. Um, in the past and um, currently this year even, we've been recognized uh, for our service in pediatric diabetes, endocrinology, patient safety, and um, worldwide we are recognized in the top 3% of nursing excellence. Um, over the years, we've um, met the needs of our patients in various ways, um, but have also identified new needs and created spaces to meet those needs. Um, as such, we have um, spaces uh, for a parent lounge, on-site classroom, we have a child life center, teen center, an atrium for hosting events and family socialization, and a meditation and relaxation room. So these services were created in line with Barbara Bush Children's Hospital mission to improve the quality of health throughout Maine and the greater New England through patient and family centered care, opportunities for ownership and empowerment, and innovative treatments and healthcare opportunities. As a child life specialist here at Barbara Bush Children's Hospital, I'm a part of the child life department and center here that um, in addition to these services uh, has been created to help serve uh, the families in this area. We as a team are devoted to providing holistic care by serving engaging with patients and families to create trust as we partner with those in the healthcare system and the community to help guide and empower these families. We strive to create a healing environment and an opportunity for normalization for families during the medical experience by means of providing medical education, therapeutic play, and emotional support through expressive and developmentally appropriate modalities. So that's why we choose to partner with Pfizer and um, because we share similar visions and mission. You seek to shape the future of healthcare through innovative medical opportunities, through community building and improving the quality of healthcare. You understand the value of literature and education as to means to improve healthcare. And you understand also the need um, as an organization to reach diverse populations. Here you will see a model of um, child development, and this is created by Broffenbrenner, a theorist in child development. And you can see here the individual child is at the center, and around it are different things that affect that child and bring out um, the specific genetic qualities and attributes of that individual family, peers, school, neighborhood around that child, and additionally the history and culture um, within that surrounding area. So Pfizer, Barbara Bush Children's Hospital, Maine Medical Center, we all contribute to the growth and development of that child and I think that's why we would make a really great partnership in this venture. Over the years we've received numerous contributions from local sponsors and donors in regards to developmentally appropriate toys, games, and books. As a child life staff, we have recognized the need to create an established space to have accessibility for our patients. While we do have learning resource centers um, off-site from our hospital, there's nothing specifically within the child um, life area and unit uh, in the Barbara Bush Children's Hospital for our children. So our goal as a group is to establish a children's library space to improve the hospital experience by providing continual opportunity for growth and development, thereby enhancing the patient and family-centered care. Um, and we can do this objectively by providing opportunity for normalcy, by creating a healing and quiet environment outside of the patient room, something that the patients can have mobilization to go to, encouraging development and literacy through reading with age-appropriate literature in numerous genres, 
Um, this would provide opportunity for development through appropriate medical literature with equal access for patients and families. And also one of our objectives is to create a space for creative writing and journaling, opening the doors for new innovations in na narrative medicine, a field that is continually growing. Literature can be very empowering, especially for children who are away from their families. Literature provides that normalization, something that they might do in the home together as a family or individually. Stories transport us. Many of you might be at the age that you remember the show Reading Rainbow. I can go anywhere. Take a look. It's in a book. Um, to remind yourself maybe a little bit of that show, I have a little clip for you. Hold on. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. I can go anywhere. Friends to know and ways to grow. A reading rainbow. I can be anything. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. Rainbow. A reading 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 rainbow. So it's not just in the 80s and 90s where folks recognize the need for children to read and the power of reading. Since the Middle Ages, libraries have sourced medical literature to those seeking information and knowledge. Khalif al-Mansur's great hospital in Cairo, Egypt, in the early uh, 80s, provided not only medical and surgical care, but also priests to read the Quran day and night for patients wishing to listen, for patients who could not sleep, music and storytelling were provided. And over the years, patient libraries have been established as part of the therapeutic programs. During World War I and World War II, there was a widespread recognition that books and reading could contribute to well-being and recovery. This was seen through the support of American Library Association in hospitals, with over two million resources, such as magazines, newspapers, and books, being circulated for patients. By the end of both wars, more than 170 libraries were working in the hospital um, library, part of the program. And in line with International Federation of Library Associations, the Child Life Specialist Team wants to provide opportunity for reading as part of the holistic approach to patient and family-centered care, and as such will follow similar guidelines established uh, by the Federation of Library Associations. Books and other library materials have an intrinsic value for everyone, regardless of age, education level, social status, or physical and mental, mental faculties. In a unique and highly personal way, books and other library materials provide the opportunity to be informed, to be entertained, to be inspired, to reflect, and to learn. Individuals in any society, including those who are temporarily or permanently confined in health or other care facilities, should have the right of access to books and library materials suited to their individual needs and interests. Books, reading, and library materials can exert a positive effect on the state or recovery of those who are physically or mentally ill. Acquiring, organizing, maintaining, and providing library materials and services that can according to each patient's need, offer a means of diversion, therapy, culture, and where appropriate education and training. As needed, provide information on health and wellness on specific illnesses, disorders, or have health-related pro problems, including um, diagnosis, prognosis, and treatment. And further, we want to provide the opportunity and understanding that library materials are a means for patients to counterbalance the foreign for some, the frightening hospital experience. One story from my own childhood, Miss Rumpheus, uh, written by Barbara Cooney, was one such story, such as Reading Rainbow suggested, transported me and took me to a different place. Now, when I think of the book, too, I always think of pictures from home and scenes from home, and it and transports me in a new way. So I wanted to share a little bit of that uh, today with you as well. Miss Rumpius, Stories and Pictures by Barbara Cooney The Lupin Lady lives in a small house overlooking the sea. In between the rocks around her house grow blue and purple and rose-colored flowers. The Lupin Lady is little and old, but she has not always been that way, I know. 
She is my great aunt, and she told me so. Once upon a time she was a little girl named Alice, who lived in the city by the sea. From the front stoop she could see the wharves and the bristling masts of tall ships. Many years ago her grandfather had come to America on a large sailing ship. Now he worked in a shop at the bottom of the house, making figureheads for the prows of ships and carving Indians out of wood to put in front of cigar stores. For Alice's grandfather was an artist. He painted pictures, too, of sailing ships and places across the sea. When he was very busy, Alice helped him put in the skies. An evening, Alice sat on her grandfather's knee and listened to his stories of faraway places. When he had finished, Alice would say, When I grow up, I too will go to faraway places, and when I grow old, I too will live beside the sea. That is all very well, little Alice, said her grandfather, but there is a third thing you must do. What is that? asked Alice. You must do something to make the world more beautiful, said her grandfather. All right, said Alice but she did not know what that could be. In the meantime, Alice got up and washed her face and ate porridge for breakfast. She went to school and came home and did her homework. And pretty soon, she was grown up. So as the story continues, she does grow up. She becomes a librarian. She sees the world. And eventually, she does settle beside the sea. And she decides to make the world more beautiful by a scattering lupin seeds, and they then continue to spread and spread throughout her community, bringing joy and delight to everyone around her. Um, and here's a picture of actually lupins in Maine, something that, again, I trans when I read this book, I am transported to. So my question is for us, how can we make the world more beautiful? And part of that is, I believe, creating this um, children's space, this library, for kids to also be transported. We were requesting $50,000 within a two-year contract with Pfizer, and this $50,000 will cover renovation of space, furniture, computers, literature for ages birth to young adult. Um, it will cover the costs of um, a library, correlate or electronic software, um, part-time librarian, training for all the volunteers, and office staff, and supplies. And this contract um, will start um, the 1st of June as our goal. And within that two-year span, we have certain milestones that we want to meet. The construction of this space, creating a committee, a library committee that consists of both parents, patients, and staff within the hospital. Uh, we want to develop the cataloging of books, uh, training, uh, library opening to happen um, near the beginning of the year, and uh, and then in addition to that, adding different things such as story time, uh, bedside book cards, and then partnering eventually with local funders so that as we step down, we are being tr um, supported by our local community and. By the end of the second year, hopefully sustaining um, that fundraising. And in addition to creating new opportunities within narrative medicine for creating um, opportunity for writing and workshops. Some of those funders will include um, uh, the, Bar the Portland Press Herald, uh, the Barbara Bush Foundation for Family Literacy. Already we are supported by the Portland Pirates and the Red Claws and the Portland Sea Dogs sports teams in our area. And uh, to continually provide for uh, literature, uh, partnering with the Lisa Libraries, Library of Congress, Portland Public Library. You know, our end goal in the future is to be circulating um, these books. Um, throughout the community as well, and again, providing that extension of medical knowledge and access. So I hope um, this information has been helpful. I uh, open the door for any questions and really look forward to the partnership. Butterfly in the sky, I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book. 
of reading rainbow.